Hi friends, welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss about conditional statements, various types of conditional statements the PLSQL supports, and then I will discuss in detail about the if then end if statement. So I sincerely request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. Till now, whatever the PLSQL programs we have written, all the instructions will be executed in a sequence. However, if you want to execute the statements on a certain condition, like if a certain condition is true, then you want to execute few statements. If the condition is false, you want to execute certain statements. Now, if you want to write these kind of programs, then we can use the conditional statements. So, conditional statements execute set of statements only when given condition is true. If a certain condition is true, then only you can execute certain statements. If the condition is false, you can execute set of statements. So, all these things we can do using the conditional statements. We can even can pass multiple conditions and conditions can be formed by using comparison operators, logical operators which returns a boolean value. So, we can pass multiple conditions means more than one condition also you can pass. If multiple conditions should be true, then you can use the logical AND. If any one of the conditions should be true, then you can use the logical OR operator. Then we have the comparison operators or relational operators such as less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to, equal to, not equal to for comparing the values. Similarly, we have the logical operators such as logical AND, logical OR, logical NOT. If you want to verify multiple conditions, then you can use the logical AND and logical OR. Now, any condition will return a boolean value which can be either a true or it can be a false. If the condition is true, then the certain statements will be executed. If the condition is false, a certain statements will be executed. So, like this, you can use the conditional statements in PLSQL. Now, let me discuss various types of conditional statements in PLSQL. We have if then end if what is the purpose of if then end if means you will have if certain a condition then if the condition is true the statements which are there in the if block will be executed and finally you are providing the end if so the statements which are there between the then and end if will be executed if the if condition is true. If the if condition is false, the statements which are there in the if block will not be executed. But we are not saying if the condition is false, what statement should be executed. But if you want to provide, then you can use if then else end if. Now what it will do is that you will have an if a condition then you will have a certain statements if the condition is true the statements will be executed if the condition is false the statements which are there in the else block will be executed however if you want to verify multiple conditions then you can use if then else if el yes if and then you can use the end if so you will have if a certain condition if the condition is true the statements which are there in the if block will be executed if the condition is false instead of executing the statements which are there in the else block you will have else if another condition if the condition is true the statements which are there in the else if block will be executed if the condition which is there in the else if block will is false then again you can verify another condition like that you can provide multiple conditions using the else if ladder and then finally we have the case so these are the four types of conditional statements the plsql supports first let me discuss about the if then end if in detail with a few programs so that it will be clear for you in the next videos or coming videos i will discuss about if else else if ladder all these things and this case we will discuss now as i discussed earlier you will have a if a certain condition and then you will have the then and you can provide the various statements like statement 1 then statement 2 statement 3 
like that you can provide and finally you can write the end if end with the semicolon so, so this is the syntax of if then end if in plsql now if this condition is true the statements which are there in the if block will be executed if the condition is false the statements which are there in the if block will not be executed so what i will do is that i will write a, a simple plsql program to discuss much about the if then and if so i have opened the sql plus and then i have written set server output on so whatever the plsql program you have written it will display the output for you so you know that if you want to declare any variables you need to write the declare session and you need to provide the variable name and then data type and then you can provide the assignment operator am present a so i am reading the value of variable a from the user similarly i am writing another variable b which is of a number type and also i am reading the value of the b from the user then i will write the begin session here i will write the condition if a is equal to b now remember one important point in c c++ java python if you want to use the comparison operator called equal then we will write double equal to like this am i right double equal to we will use to verify whether it is equal or not whereas single equal to will be act as a assignment whereas in plsql column and then equal to will be acting as an assignment operator and single equal to will be acting as a comparison equal operator i hope it is very clear for you so that's why i have written if a is equal to b so this is my condition and then i am writing then so if this condition is true what are the statements i want to execute i will write here dbms underscore output dot put underscore line i want to display the a value is equal to b value so i will write the statement inside the single quote so a is equal to b close the single quotes and with the semicolon then i will write dbms underscore output dot put underscore line welcome to plsql welcome to plsql end with the semicolon and then i will write the end if end with a semicolon now i'll write one more statement dbms underscore output dot put underscore line and then i will write here welcome to pernika tutorials youtube channel and then i will write the end to end the session and then i will write the backslash now it is asking the user to enter the a value let me enter the a value as 5 b value also as 5 now you can see the we got the output as a is equal to b welcome to plsql welcome to pernika tutorials youtube channel if you want to look at the program properly let me open this one in the notepad and you can see we have declared two variables called a and b and we have read the user from input from the user and here i have written an if condition so if is a condition null statement and we have provided a condition what is the condition a is equal to b now in the previous program what is the a value we have entered from the user 5 what is the b value we have entered from the user 5 so 5 is equal to 5 yes the condition is true if the condition is true the statements which are there in the if block will be executed so what is the first statement we are displaying a is equal to b so that's why we got the output as a is equal to b then we are displaying a statement called welcome to plsql so these two statements have been displayed we have end if so the statements which are there in the if block has been executed and then i have written this one to display welcome to pernika tutorials youtube channel so this statement will be executed even if the condition is true or condition is false because if the condition is true this, this statements will be executed if this condition is false if i does not provide then 
nothing will be displayed according to the characteristic of an algorithm every algorithm should produce at least one output so that's why whether this program is giving any output or not to show that one i have written the statement so if this condition is true these statements will be displayed and also this statement will be displayed if the condition is false only this statement will be displayed if you want to observe let me save this program close this one provide the access now i am uh, entering the a value is 50 b value is 45 now you can see we got the output as welcome to pernika tutorials youtube channel because the if condition is false if the if condition is false the statements which are there in the if block will not be executed i hope this program is clear for you let me clear the screen and then i will write another program okay so i will write set server output on end with semicolon let me display the information which is there in the table called emp now you can see we have various attributes called emp number e name job manager information hire date salary department number now what i want to do is that in which department the employee is there 30 okay so if the department number is 30, I want to increase his salary. I want to read the information about the employee number is 7900. So, I want to read the information about the employee number 7900. If his department number is 30, I want to increase his salary by 50. So, current now, his salary is 950. I want to increment by 50. So, his salary should be displayed as 1000. So, what I will do? Do, let me clear the screen and let me write set server output on end with semicolon now let me write the plsql program first i will write declare to de start the declare session and then i will write department number as number of size 10 end with the semicolon and i am again declaring another variable called salary a type i am providing as 10 comma 2 so two decimals i am allowing and then i am writing the begin session i will write select department number comma salary into department number department number comma salary am taking the attribute value of department number comma sal and storing into the variables called department number and salary from the table called emp where i am writing as emp number is equal to 7900 let me end with the semicolon display the information of the employee salary and department number so i will write dbms underscore output dot put underscore line and then i am writing here the salary is the salary is and provide the concatenation and open the single quotes column again concatenation and then here i will write salary the variable name end with the semicolon similarly i want to display the department number so dbms underscore output dot put underscore line the department number is within the single quotes i will write the department number is close the single quotes provide the concatenation open the single quotes write the column close the single quotes and then concatenation i will write department number which is a variable and now i am writing the if a condition so what is the condition if department number is equal to 30 then i want to increase the salary so i will write salary is equal to salary plus 30 
salary is equal to salary plus 30 or if I want to increase by 50 I can write salary is equal to salary plus 50 and then I will write the end if after ending that one I want to display the new salary so I will write dbms underscore output dot put underscore line and then here I will write the new salary is the new salary is I will close the single quotes then concatenation open the single quotes column close the single quotes concatenation now I will display the value which is there in the variable called salary and let me end it and then access we need to write the assignment right salary assignment operator here we are writing the comparison operator let me open the edit and here I need to write salary assignment is equal to salary plus 30 let me save this one and now add me here spelling we have written wrongly debs okay all this one we should correct it so here in place of dbms we have written debms let me save this one close it and again let me compile see now we got the initially the salary is 950 the department number is 30 so department number is 30 so 30 is equal to 30 so our if condition is satisfied if the if condition is satisfied the statements which are there in the if condition will be executed so that's why salary has been incremented by 30 so the new salary became 980 suppose if i'm writing some other employee number let me write 7500 something before that i want to display the information which is there in this table called emp let me write select star from emp and with the semicolon okay employee number 7369 is there in the department number 20 so now look at here if i retrieve the information from 7369 whose salary is 800 as the department number is not equal to 30 so the if condition will be false so even the new salary will be also 800 if you want to verify what i will do again i need to write the entire program oh my god let me try to copy can we copy or not we can see i have copied and let me paste it yeah yeah it is working huh, now we need to change it right here instead of uh, employee number as 7900 let me write 7369 save this one access now you can see the salary is 800 the department number is 20 as the if condition is false the new salary is also 800 because the salary will not be incremented by 30 i hope it is clear for you what i will do i will open this one in the notepad and i will discuss this program in detail with you so i have written the declare session and then i have declared two variables called department number and salary and i have opened the begin session and then i am taking the two attributes called department number comma SCL from the table called EMP and whatever the values are coming I am storing into the two variables called department number comma salary and which row I am selecting where the employee number should be equal to 7369 and then I am displaying the salary and the department number of the employee number called 7369 if I am returning the if condition what is the condition department number should be equal to 30 the employee details of the 7369 department number is 20 so 20 is equal to 30 no the condition is false if the if condition is false the statements which are there in the if block will not be executed so salary will not be incremented by 30 so the whatever the old salary is there the same salary will be displayed which is 800 if the if condition is true the statements which are there in the if block will be executed so his salary will be incremented by 30 and the new salary will be displayed this is the way we can use the if then end if in plsql if you still have any doubts related to these two programs and to the conditional statement called if then end if statement you can ask the comments in the sorry you can ask your questions in the comment section i will try to clear your doubts as early as possible thank you for watching the complete video have a nice day